bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum What's up guys? What's up guys? My name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I haven't seen you guys in such a long time and I figured that I'd make a video today because there's so much hype. After coming back from my trip, there was a bunch of hype on this new app that's called Vero. So I usually don't talk about apps, but I figured that I'll just do that today because for one, it's a new app. Two, if you're an influencer or a creator and like to share things with people and show your talent, then that's good as well. And three, What's the third one that you guys should be on this app? It's because everyone is on apps nowadays and there's a hype behind this app. So let's go ahead and just talk about this new app called Vero. So I've been using Vero for about two days now. The first day it was so slow. My first experiences with this was, okay, this is so slow. It's very hard to get into this app and engage with people and even to see what it's about and explore because it was crashing like crazy. And that was because it was experiencing very high volume of downloads and also there was people like big celebrities who were saying that they had a profile made and done which is how I heard about it on on Instagram and it just slowed down everything I guess the servers were crashing I don't know something was happening but I made an account I happened to make an account but I couldn't do anything for the first 24 hours now after the second day I started using the app and it was a little bit better and it was a little bit quicker and I could use the functions that it provides but before that let's go ahead and get into what Vero actually is so Vero is an app that claims to be like Instagram and Facebook kind of combined you're able to share some links you're able to share your music you're able to share what book you're reading you're able to share videos you're able to edit videos and use filters on videos and do what Instagram allows you to do on stories but on a video format. The presets that are on the editing functionality when you're able to upload a photo and enhance and crop or do whatever it's pretty good but I like that you could also edit your videos that you're just shooting so I could just point I could record a video right now and edit the video and also adjust the saturation levels, adjust the contrasting, adjust the lighting and do all that stuff within the app which is pretty cool. So that's something that's really good because obviously I post a lot of photos on Instagram and that's just what I do and I like that and that's just a great feature for me. So you could post photos, you could post videos, you could post links and essentially like if you're a blogger or if you have something you want to share it's basically what you could do on Instagram if you have 10,000 followers or more. You could just do that from the start on this app on Vero, the hyperlink where you could just swipe up basically you just click on what you're sharing and also there is a really cool sharing profile functionality so I think if you're a creator or if you are just in the world where you need to collaborate with someone it makes it super easy to collaborate with people because it has this really cool sharing feature where you write a short little bio of someone and it doesn't necessarily have to be a picture of you guys together but it's just more of a suggestion kind of format which I really like because I share Jordan's profile on there as well because he wants to get involved in the hype as well and it's just it's just easier and it kind of creates it in a way where you're just like highlighting someone's profile which is cool so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been doing research on Vero so apparently the founder is a son of a million of a billionaire and they did some shady business or something like that but people are having a lot to say about this guy in particular about not paying wages and having some people I don't know like hostage or something like that I don't know the full story I don't know the complete story I don't know what's true I don't know what's not and I think that there is just surfacing now so there's very little information of what the reality of the situation may be which is why I haven't done any research I'm just gonna let it marinate a little bit and let people go crazy and then do my research and formulate my own opinion but not only that there was also some stuff with the terms and conditions that kinda stated that they basically owned the right to that stated that they basically owned your content once you put it up on the app but I guess he came into an interview saying that that wasn't what it was and they restated the terms and condition with their legal team and now it just says that basically you just cannot charge Vero for posting content on their app and that's just what it is so aside from that crazy madness that's going on and there's like hashtags saying Vero and all this stuff which I don't really necessarily get because one Uber's a company two McDonald's is a company three Walmart's a company four there's so many company that people out there that people are still indulging and in, in buying and in, in keeping afloat that you know there's something cool like this and people are just like well no because this and this and this so don't download it hashtag Pharaoh which I don't I don't I don't really agree so I don't know but let's go ahead and move on why Vero is actually pretty good and why I suggest you guys using it so the first thing is that there is no algorithm there are no ads 
and basically you are able to create content and it's going to be seen chronologically as you upload so everyone is going to get a chance to look at it and I know that the biggest thing about Instagram is algorithms and that is basically what kills everything. I think that that's something that everyone's been battling with Instagram of creating content but not being able to be shared throughout their whole social following which sucks and two people are taking time out of their day on top of creating nice content and going out and shooting and editing and doing all this fun stuff you also have to join pod groups and do all this stuff that people are doing to try to keep their engagements and their impressions high so that's the difference between Instagram, Facebook and Vero and Vero promises that there is no algorithm and that your feed is going to be seen chronologically in the order that you are uploading so that makes a huge difference and that's just basically what Instagram was back in the day when everyone was having fun so Bravo! Bravo! So like I said, I've been on this app for about three days now. This is my third full day and it's been going amazing. I've been meeting a lot of cool people. I've been connecting with people from around the world, which has been amazing. And basically, I'm just going to walk you guys through my feed right now and what it looks like and just talk about it as we go. So let's go ahead and start this right now. This coffee is starting to kick in, so I apologize if I start talking fast. Okay, so iPhone X screen recording. Check. Right, so here we have it this is what it looks like right here and so this is so this is what the home button looks like right here and as you can see it's clean it's cool it's a little V it's super nice it's very modern now we open the app and it takes you straight excuse me it takes you straight to your landing page and there's gonna be the feed and here are the feeds of people who you follow and it's just gonna be in the order that people have been posting so there's a person right here who downloaded who uploaded some really cool off-white Nike shoes and so here are the feeds so this is what the feed looks like as you can see the feed is pretty cool it's pretty clean and crystal clear there is no it's not too complicated it's not it's not very complex it's very easy it's straightforward so you have right here someone uploading a song so that's how you upload a song you put I love it you put you're able to caption it you're able to modify um, you're able to caption it and you're able to recommend a cool song and you have a person right here which is Christina K. Shouts out to Christina K. I have no idea who she is, but she's putting a link of behind the scenes video shooting. So that's the hyperlink right there. So you can just press play and it will play on your phone. Let's see. Hopefully this takes not that long. Who just says, Hey Vero is basically what you do on Instagram. Now here we have a setting where you could search something or whatever. And here are the trending popular hashtags, which is basically like what uh, that one app was when it was cool. Um, I forgot what it was. Vine. So it has your popular hashtags right here, and I guess you can use those according to what you're posting. And it has, I guess, the popular people featured users, which obviously are the top dogs. And then you go done, and now you have my profile, my dashboard. So here we have my profile and dashboard. You guys could go ahead and follow me on Vero if you guys want. Uh, like I said, this has been helping me so much. And we can, I'll talk about this in just a few seconds. But there I have my edit uh, bio, my connections, uh, my following is right there displayed. I'm able to see my post right here. The app is a little bit slow still. There are some delays. But as you can see, here are my posts right here. Pretty good engagement. Shouts out to Jordan. Um, and yeah, so you're able to feature certain posts I feature all my posts because I don't know why and yeah that's basically it so then as you upload more then you're able to kind of control more of what your profile looks like but I have only been uploading uh, photos so there's my profile and you have about I don't know how many characters you have let's see you have a, a, whatever characters don't really matter I guess and now you have your settings there and then you go to your collections and links and all this stuff that you've posted so you're able to just control everything here from on your collections and now you have this bell which is the notification bell buttons which if you guys haven't hit the notification bell buttons on my channel go ahead and do that right now and subscribe so here we go as you see here are the people who have liked my photos thus far there's a follower right here bad publicity which I love and then you have uh, all the information and hot girls that are on here because there's a lot of girls from the UK. Oh, God, cash cup. Because there's a lot of hot girls from the the world on here. So, so there you have it. That is Vero, basically in a nutshell. So, 
Let's go ahead and answer the question that everyone wants to know or that people are speculating or just saying, well, just wait a minute, let me see, do I really want to download this app? So my answer to if you should download this app, if you are a business, if you are a con content creator, if you are an influencer, if you are a brand, whatever it is, if you are basically trying to sell a product to people, if you are a producer, not a consumer, then I highly suggest you guys download this app. It's not about anything of what the founder, the creator has done in its past. It has nothing to do with anything. The terms and conditions don't really matter. I don't care for that. I mean, I guess, you know, I really don't think it's that important at this stage of this app development. So, the one thing is that there's people complaining because there is a delay. So, the delay is good. I don't know why people are talking about that the app sucks because the delay is there and that they can't log in, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. The fact is that it's delayed because there is a very high influx of interest in the app and people are downloading it, which means that the app is going to blow up. So the fact that you're able to be an early adapter on an app, then that should kind of motivate you to be like, okay, let me try to see what I could do while this is still baby. Because other than that, it's going to be like Instagram. You're too late. There's going to be about 2,500 people with a million followers, and you're basically going to get diluted. So the people who complain about the delays, the people who complain about the app being slow, the people who complain about not being able to do something, you could be an early adapter to this application and potentially gain something that you've always wanted on another app. So that's just my idea. It's my opportunist mentality coming into play right now, which is what I want to share with you guys. The second thing, like I said, if you're a business, if you're a brand, if you're trying to convey a message to someone, if you are trying to have an audience, then of course you should download this app. There's no reason why you shouldn't download this app. It's just another way to find people to be interested in what you are selling and what you're producing and what you're creating to bring into your inner circle of interest counterparts. So I think that even if you get one connection, two connections, three connections from this app, those are connections that you don't have. So if you are trying to connect with someone, if you are trying to start a business, if you want information, I don't know what you guys are trying to do. For me, I have a shoe company, I have a hair product company, I have my YouTube channel, I have Instagram. So I like to connect with people and collaborate with people and just meet new people because I like to engage in what other people are doing and I like to collaborate. And also, keeping like-minded individuals around me is just what we do in this industry and in any industry you're in. So. That being said, I'll spend some time and effort and energy in trying to find some cool people on this app so I can connect with and be friends. And go on Instagram, go on Facebook, find them somewhere else and build a relationship because then that just grows your network. So even if it's one or two people, like I said, then of course it's worth it. Then you should do it. Don't sit on there and be like, I'm just going to wait until um, Jack and Jill uh, blow up or I, I need to see someone blow up before... Um, I download this app because I have to know it's real. Yeah, by the time they blow up, it's it, it's going to be too late. So stop being so pessimistic and negative and just go do it. What really kept me hooked with this app is that I was making connections and I found people that had a huge following on like Instagram. I didn't know. So they were reaching out to me because I was growing substantially quick on Vero. I still am, which is pretty cool. So shouts out to Vero. And uh, yeah, so I'm like, this is dope. So I'm looking at their profiles and I'm following them and I check them and I'm looking at the profiles and I see that they have an Instagram account and I go to the Instagram and they have like half a million followers. And I think even Tony Mafood, which is a pretty big influencer on Instagram, is on this with like 10 followers. So basically, here's the thing. You're, you're able to connect with these people which are not really accessible on other platforms because they're so big and you're able to reach, reach out to them and actually contact them and the chances that they're able to see what you're writing to them, what you're expressing to them, whatever you want to do, is a, it's a very big chance that they're going to respond and be like, hey, what's up, man? Like, hey, thank you for the love and support. I'm trying to grow on this app as well, so thank you for reaching out. So I reached out to people and I've made connections with brands and companies who have a huge following, like even Uded Men and Uded who have like millions of followers on Instagram, which if I tag them, they're probably not even going to see it. If I DM them, it's just going to be going down a funnel of a hundred other DMs that are going to be on the outbox, which is not going to be seen by them. So this was so this allows me to connect with these people and be like, yo, what's up, dude? Like, how's it going? Whatever. You connect with these people, you do you, and you just interact and build a 
connection on this app that's a very baby and premature app at the moment. So that's something that is very great about this opportunity as well. So that's why I'm saying if you are anybody who has, if you are anyone who needs, anyone who needs an audience for anything, if you're a magician, musician, an artist, a business entrepreneur, a businessman, entrepreneur, a YouTuber, a Instagrammer, whatever you are, whatever you do, a food blogger, whatever, a vlogger, then I highly suggest that you guys download this app and just use it. Because like I said, even if it's five connections or one solid connection that's going to open and break into something that could allow you to access a bigger network from that one connection, then that's gold. That is gold, my friends. That's gold. Bagels. Goals. Bagels. That is what I have to say about Vero. I know that there are people who are talking very bad about Vero because of what the founder did or does or whatever. I have no idea what he does on his time off. I truly don't care. I'm on this app because I see opportunity. I'm on this app because I like to connect with people and engage with people and grow my network. And like I said, you never know what could happen with one with one connection that you make somewhere. And it's better to make that connection and not have that connection. So. Like I said, if you are on Vero because you want to grow your network, and basically if you're on Instagram, you probably should be on Vero because we all have something to offer, hopefully. Hopefully you guys offer something good to, to people. So I suggest you guys go ahead and download Vero. And you guys can follow me on Vero as well. I'll be happy to collaborate with you guys. I'm happy to collaborate with anyone and everyone. If you guys have a cool profile and you guys have something sick to offer, then just let me know and I could do the little feature thing for you guys, whatever. We could all win together on this app because like I said, I win if you win and I want everyone else to succeed and if I could just make one post and open up the networks of my connections to you guys if open up the connections to my network to you guys and that's it then we could all win and then my life will be complete so that's what I have to say about Vero guys I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope let me know if you guys are on Vero what do you guys think about Vero I know that it's slow there is some delays there are some lags um, as far as a real big negative things I don't see anything negative about this app. I think that other than what a personal perspective, a personal opinion on someone's personal life is being dragged onto this app, then it doesn't really make sense because for one, like I said, there are tons of terrible businesses out there that are super successful and people talk about it and still just continue to shop there, buy there, eat there. I mean, our president is Donald Trump, so then you should just hate America. So. Yeah, think about it. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys find, find this video informative enough to download it or not, whatever. It's still a platform that, you know, you decide if you want to download it or not. No one's holding a gun to your head. So, yeah, you decide. And at the end of the day, be an adult about it. And, uh, yeah, do you. So there you guys have it. My link is down below in my bio. The link is down below in my bio if you guys want to follow me, if you guys want to check it out, if you guys... Uh, yeah, want to connect with me there, go ahead. Let me know what you guys think about Vero down below in the comment section. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon. And also, if you guys haven't followed me on the old school, old school Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me on this old school uh, thing called Instagram, then feel free to follow me on Instagram at ByCarlsRoberto. The link will be down below as well. Or just go ahead and search me up and give me some impressions. Impressions. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And yeah, let's talk down below or let's talk on Vero, let's talk on Instagram, whatever you guys want to do. But yeah, don't forget to post on everything. Peace out. And this is actually my first app review. So should I keep doing app reviews? Oh, I don't think so. Peace out.